Excited. I'm coming back and I'm going to be the leader. And the first pitch from Campbell. Misses inside ball one. Gets himself out of it. He minimizes damage. Misses there. There's that run side and a walk to Reese Albert. Through it looked like the first batter was really critical. If you got through them, the rest of the inning got a little easier. This one is laced in the left field. And it's going to be a single for KC Flowers. In order to light a fire under some of the players that were there, this one into right field, that's going to get down. Flowers to second. And the Florida State Seminoles have two men on. Yeah. Right down the middle. Good pitch from Campbell 0 2, and he froze to Satis for the second out, second ball. Now he's become a folk hero in Tallahassee. Caught again on a foul ball. He strikes out three. He's got four in the game. Jim Pack, Andrew Benatendi, playing for Arkansas just a few years ago. This ball is lifted high and deep left center field going back is Becker at the wall <laughs> crashing into the wall and making the catch is J.C. Flowers. Oh did he take one away. What a web gem from Flowers in center field. Way outside gets by and that's going to allow Jack Henley to go to second base. We saw that a lot in the for Arkansas. Yep. Oh, two, and he got him ball in the dirt. And the side retired. Back up the middle, that's going to be a hit. They had a runner on in each inning, so Reese Albert aboard for the second time. With a... He was talking about he can elevate the four-seamer at the same time. Went back to it, potential double play ball. Can lead a Martin to first. They get the double play. Started 3-0 last year in the College World Series, and Oregon State beat him twice to knock him out. Christian Franklin, that's lined through the 5-6 hole, and the number nine hitter is aboard for... Back up the middle, and almost got Parrish, but it's through and it's hit hard. And a couple of hard hit balls, first two hits for Arkansas, and they are in business with nobody. FSU did, he committed on the spot right then and there. Back up the middle, this one off his leg. He'll go to first and get the out. And the two runners advance to second and third, one down. Mendoza even at third. If it's hit hard to him, he may come home. But anywhere else on the infield, they'll take the out. Here they come again. Rick in the air, they get a double play chance to third. Oh, what a scoop over there by Drew Mendoza. The infielder moved in, made the catch, and then fired a bullet to third. And a great scoop by Mendoza. What a huge double play for the Knowles. They did it again. They moved late. Watch the late movement, especially at second base. DeSantis comes in. If he stays back, it's a short hop run scores. Instead, comes all the way in, picks it in the air. Woo. Big double play right there. The late movement makes the dip. 0-2, another chance, the backhanded bobbled, and a rare error, so Carter Smith will reach. That one's going to get through the hole, and Florida State's knocking on the door now. Amazing what an error can do. Both sides, first and second. Victories for Mike Martin, 2-2. Strike three on the outside corner, and to say this camp, 30 brother combinations that have played at Florida State. Yeah! Three. Frozen. Track man in place, and so you, you can see what, from a spin rate standpoint, guy's best pitch is. Change up, get in the inning. Now Mendoza, to say this, to first, no! Bounced it over there. Carter Smith could not hold on to it. Only to, to get items like that and get them immediate. Oh, they got him in a rundown now. Throw down and the tag is made. Good move by Parrish. Think about the way they have ended some innings here. The four, five. Was recommended by who? By Wes Johnson. Wes Johnson even. <laughs> Flowers. Oh, we got a play over there by Nesbitt. Jim, Jacob Nesbitt diving to his right to make the play and the defense is what it was I pick up medical journals <laughs> and I read medical journals 
That's the first guy I've ever heard pick up a medical journal and just read it like you would pick up Sports Illustrated or ESPN, the magazine. But medical I, journals. I thought his explanation. Matt Nelson's two for two tonight, two singles. This one to right field, and it's heading towards the corner over there, but Heston Kerstad is there. Reason why it can, can, can be very noisy. But the breaking ball from Parrish tonight has been the reason why they haven't. That pitch right there has been what he has leaned on the entire night. So we see the entire. Chases it, and look at Parrish. Feeling good with his. Ball four. On the U.S. national team last year, Parrish and Fletcher. That's trouble. That's going to get down in front of Flowers. Second base now heading to third. The throw is all the way through to the bag, but a single for Fletcher. And Arkansas is in business. I think for the second time tonight, we had a batter make contact with the catcher's glove. How about this? Matt Nelson, that hits his mitt. It's called immediately. Back up the middle, off his bare hand. Still has time, throws to first. A big, big out for Drew Parrish. Hobbs didn't go in there trying to change much. It was just... Figure out what makes these guys tick. That's the tenth strikeout of the game for Isaiah Campbell. Change up, strike out again. Sixth strikeout of the night for Drew Parrish. Coming in to make the play is Heston Kerstad. Campbell left, Scroggins came in, and the results were the same of one, two, three inning to the bottom of the eighth, zero, zero. Round pick of the Kansas City Royals. Right field and heading towards the corner. This could be trouble. It gets down, spins into the corner. Franklin to second to put the brakes on there, but what a start to the eighth inning. A leadoff double for Christian Franklin. Went with a 3-2 fastball. This time misses his location, wants it away, stays in, and Franklin, which already was one for two coming into the at-bat. Gets it right in the corner. Albert brings it in quickly, keeps him at second base. A point where I would want to see Flowers in the game, and he is not warmed up because he's playing center. It's a short. And they get the out in first base. But one out and down to third base where the sacrifice fly can put the Razorbacks up one nothing. Is Christian Franklin. And now you have to play the infield in. Casey Martin so far has struggled. Struck him out. What a huge performance from Drew Parrish against Casey Martin. He picks up strikeout number eight. Three in a row, Eddie. Go ahead, run at third base. Two down. One, two. He's gone. Look at Parrish. He strikes out his ninth batter of the night, leaves the go ahead, run at third base. Flowers lead off man aboard and some good speed now on the bases with the righty Scroggins on the mound. Slider stole a strike to start, then a slider right here that just lets go a little bit too early. That's the one that doesn't move. The hand start right here for Flowers. Gets him in that front elbow pad, and Florida State has a leadoff man. He's going. Back up the middle, off the bare hand. All the time, the ball is dropped. And Casey Martin may be hurt. His left hand. 
was stung by a sliding flowers and Casey Martin's a little banged up here. That ball looked like it went off the hand of Scroggins short hopped. Martin went to tag flowers. The ball came flying out of his glove. And everybody is safe now for Florida State. Let's make sure Martin. Let's hope Martin's okay. okay right here. The three one action on the base pass saves a double play. It absolutely saves a double play. They were pushing up right in the middle, and, and then you've got a really difficult play for Martin. Watch the shoulder. Shoulder or wrist? Shoulder, all the above. Eddie, you said it right before the pitch. Nelson back to him. He looks to third. Delayed through to first, and he's now got his foot down on the bag for the out. To hear the first place umpire, at least in his opinion, David Savage say he got it, he got it, he got it. I don't know if Gazelle had his foot on the bag or not, and that was the part of the argument. Tyler Holt had a first base. Did he step on his foot and that pushed his foot onto the base? Well, watch this. Did watch not. this. Yes, he got him. His foot stepped if right on the top. If he steps over the top of yeah. it, I, I don't know if he gets back there, but the minute he steps on the heel, it pushes that right foot of Ezel back onto the bag. They're going to go look at this. All right, so they looked at the video, very quickly made a decision. Now you have to be aware. And out at first base. 12 saves on the year for Cronin. He's been in every bad oh. situation. This one is shallow right. Let's watch Flowers here. He'll tag. Here he comes to throw from Kerstad. Way up the line. The Nulls are up. One nothing. And in the third base safely goes Carter Smith. Deep enough to get the speedy J.C. Flowers home. And Mike Martin's team is up. One to nothing. How about the freshman this inning? Two runners on. Nelson moving the runners over with a sack butt. Now Nander DeSantis with a swing and Swanson the pinch hitter strikes out. One two to short. Oh, Salvatore bobbled it. Still got on them. This one may be looked at as you saw. Dominic Fletcher to say safe. Gotta look at that again. Did Dominic Fletcher slow up at all as he got to first base, or was he running hard the whole way? He was running hard the whole way, but watch again where he makes the transfer. Away from his body a little bit right there, tries to double pump it. That's all it takes. The hustle of Fletcher to first base makes it close. This is gonna be a close one, guys. Got him. He got him, and it wasn't by much. And he did not slow down at all. Ran through, ran hard from the See what the review confirms. One, minute. One two to Kerstad. Ripped on a line and caught. And, and now is trying to close it out. And he does. Mike Martin and Florida State. Step one in this 2019 College World Series. They knock off mighty Arkansas one to nothing.